next episode. Guys, look what we found. But wait, before we show you, you're not going to believe the night got even better. We saw even cooler things, so please stick around after this find. There's so much wildlife in this episode. You're going to love it. Yes. Get ready. Let's go. Red thinks he's got... But so far... Ow, he's been bad at spotting. What? What? Oh, God damn it. What? Hold on, I'm getting spikies all over me. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. Ah! Okay. Babe, you got a good snake. I finally got a good snake for the trip. Damn, I got like 10 thorns on me. Well, it was running. Wow. Oh. Wow. Wow. He did it. Oh my God. Let me turn off my headlamp. Oh. Day. Rainbow oh boa! Oh my god! What an amazing night! Wow! Can you believe it? He's beautiful. She, he, I don't know. But... <sighs> Dude, Equ babe, you did it! I was just talking crap. Ecuador, my first good find of the night. Ecuador <laughs> is treating us so good. Wow! Look at that beauty. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I saw it, and I said rainbow boa. When I got closer. All I could see was like the white side and the spots. Yeah. I thought it was a fertile ant for a second. I was like, oh, she's going to be so mad. Oh my God, I would have just, I, I would have <laughs> kicked you into the water. Yeah, can you get a photo of me with the rainbow boa yeah. and then we'll get a selfie? So this is a Brazilian rainbow boa. You guys might recognize it because they're pretty common in the pet trade. This is obviously a boa species. It gets about six feet or so. And this is, I'd say like a four foot snake. So obviously an adult, it has a pretty gnarly fresh scar there, probably from a rodent or something it was eating. Look how beautiful that is. And this was like Taylor's top find. And we've been so lucky that we've actually found two of them. We found an itty bitty baby and now this big one. How exciting. Wow. This has been probably the most epic herping night of my life. I don't know. Oh, okay. Here, turn, Tay. Give us the rainbow. That is so cool. That is so cool. I can't get over it. I can't believe we caught a wild rainbow boa. Mm -hmm. Well, we got a baby one. I can't believe we found an adult. This thing is unreal. No, I'm like super excited. I was like, you get footage of it though. This was like my biggest target. Let's try and get this rainbow boa off of you now. All right, here, I'll push the head towards you. Oh my head. Here. Get my purse off, hold on, hold on. Oh, the mosquitoes found us. All right guys, so it's the dry season in Ecuador and clearly the wildlife is centered right here in the waterways. So we're gonna keep hunting this area and see what else we can find. Botox bilineata. I can never say I'm it. Like, like, how can this night get any more incredible? What on? Okay, well you, I'll just, find these all the time you find other snakes oh my god look a, 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 a the thingy we like what oh my god i'm taylor my what? pants are I, I can't handle anymore i can't handle anymore this is the most epic herping of my entire life oh my god I'm, just come here I, I can't do it i can't do it i'm having i'm having a heart attack i'm, I'm gonna absolutely freaking puke Hold on, I'm gonna puke. I'm gonna puke. I'm freaking out. Look, I out. spotted two snakes what at on, one. What on earth? That is a giant one. Oh. It's mad. Get your camera out hurry before you upset it. Or do you want to just use my phone? No, I would Well, he's gonna leave, so. Hey, so the animals are where the water is at. Guys, what just happened? I spotted two snakes at once. I'm, I'm like, I'm blown away. You are on so much fire. You are on like an insane amount of fire. Are you just gonna send me the fire emoji? Just call me that. 
I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you daddy. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Just make you how many picks my hair. Gotta get your your poops all in it. The more parasites, the better. <laughs> you know, whatever. I'm I'm like I'm actually speechless. I don't even know what to do. All right, real camera time. Okay, real camera's on. We got to show you the two snakes. Taylor just spotted this. Um, we got another of my favorite snakes, the uh, Bothrops bilineata. I had a little bit of a freak out. Absolutely incredible animals. Insane. Uh, I don't even know what to think or say because we just found that rainbow boa. And show us the new species for the night. Hold on, let me back it up. Oh my gosh, look at this. As we're running over to the viper, I was like, wait a minute, what's that on the ground? Nice little vine snake. Red vine snake. Holy smokes. One of our favorite tropical non-venomous snakes. I am just blown away. Taylor, you have been the superstar tonight. Okay, team, let's let the red vine snake go. Can you see it? Uh, sort of. I'm trying not to get in the way of the, the pit viper. There you go. Let him go. Adios. Oh. Oh. And then we'll go take that snake. All right, red vine snake. Absolutely incredible, amazing. Uh, Pit Viper was actually right here. Yeah. Go yeah. live a long, prosperous life. Eat lots of frogs. See you later, dude. Look at it going up the tree. <laughs> I'm. I just. Ecuador's amazing. We are starting the night strong. So let's try to keep our memento and follow me. Oh, it is dense in here. We've been bushwhacking for a long time. Tay, yeah. don't worry. I definitely have parasites. I just got a mouthful of water while sloshing through this. In my mouth, in my nose. Hold on, hold on. What just happened, Tay? Did you just call me over for a snake? Guys, guys, come look at the snake Taylor called me over for. Does every I want everybody to acknowledge and see what this is. That's not a snake. What is it? Okay, Tay? but is it iridescent? <laughs> is it iridescent? Yeah. That's not, all. Shame I on you. I thought it was one of those shame. Worm, one of those worm snakes <laughs> that exists. <laughs> We're taking a little bit of a break just because we've been walking for 1.34 miles. It's really not that far, but it is when it's uphill and all of that. So we're just taking a break, letting our bodies rest, drinking some water. I want to show you on our offline GPS what our trail looks like. I feel like it's not correct. Because look at those scribbles. <laughs> it looks so stupid. But whatever, it'll help us get back to the car if we get lost. But it's just so beautiful being out here in the jungle with this guy. It's our eight year anniversary. We're so lucky to have each other. Eight years is a long right? time. It's almost a decade. Right? We're yeah. lucky to have each other. Yeah, yeah, we definitely are. Mm -hmm. Our lives are always so busy and crazy with all of our animals, all of our jobs and everything. So it's so nice to be able to take a break, you know, a few times a year and just be out in the jungle and just be by ourselves and see all the animals and listen to the bugs and all of that. We're having such a good time. Let's not pretend. I don't get in a bad mood when we're not finding animals, but right now we're having a really good time and we had some good food today, so I'm happy, but. Yeah. And we're out here uh, without a guide, without anything. We just pick up and go. Uh, we got the GPS on the phone, headlamps, and uh, roaming around hoping not to be eaten by a jaguar. That's like- Or a human. Or a human. I'm gonna sit right on the bush here. Oh, he's so cool. Tay with another cool frog find. The beast. Good job, Tay. Just to look on this log slope. Oh 
Oh my God. I found the most beautiful bird. He's beautiful. He's black with a blue head. He looks edgy. Tell me if I edgy looking bird. He's edgy as, edgy as can be. He's like the lead guitarist in a rock band. Oh, look at this thing. That is so cool. It's like a giant mossy leaf frog. He's like so textured. That is an amazing frog. I hope the camera is picking up all the details. Another frog? Where? Hey, you're like the tree, you're like the frog master. And Rhett, why is it a good idea not to touch the frogs? Because one, our oils and our skin can hurt them and kill them. And two, there's a lot of toxic frogs here that can hurt us. So just don't even touch them. Yeah. Okay, Taylor has spotted a forest lizard. Well, okay, we'll buy him. Well, no, no, I saw it over here. Got him. Oh, he's freaking gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Right here it goes. That was... I did eat. Ow! God! Cool bugs continue. Scorpion. Taylor just spotted this bug that actually looks just like a dead leaf. That is insane. All right, I'm gonna touch it to show you guys. Yes, but. Oh. This is the absolute biggest tarantula I've ever seen. This thing is insane. Oh man. It's a male. I wish you could hold still so I could put like a hand next to him. It's huge. That thing is massive. This forest is crawling with huge invertebrates. My mind is blown. This is so cool. Yes. Well, not the rain, but that too. But we just got back to the car and it started raining. Perfect timing. So we're going to give road cruising a shot now that it's late and raining before we head back to the hotel. And this is not the weirdest thing we've seen on the road. I'd say the weirdest thing we saw was a guy. Come on, dude. Let's go. Look at them. Oh. Wow. All right, guys, would we cruise, Tay? Let's make sure we know what it is. Cat eye snake. Yeah, I get the name because they have a vertical pupil. Uh, it's a pretty common snake here in the Central and South America. Come here. Sorry, Sandra. They're seen as non-venomous, but they can give an okay bite. It's kind of like hog nose snakes. If you react to hog nose snakes. All right, we're gonna let them go and keep moving. Okay, bye, snake. -y. First snake of the trip and probably also our last snake of the trip. A forest flame snake. Dude, we just found four snakes on the road in like no time. Unfortunately guys, the last snake we found was a DOR, uh, the fertile lance that we we're hoping to show you. Oh my god, it's a sloth! Dude, we're just watching you. We're just chilling. Hey, buddy. Just hold on, keep going. Don't worry. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. It looks like an alien. He's so wet. <laughs> Look at his butt. Sloth butt. 